How's it going? I must have all the cosmic bricks I can get my hands Basically on. continuing exactly where I left off in the last episode. Progress faster. So then we see Loki and this Doctor Doom. I'm reduced to relying on such pitiful mortal creatures for my plans. Though he does have a cool throne and a metal face. <laughs> Director Fury, Reed Richards is here. Uh, oh, Mr. Fantastic himself. Any breakthroughs on that cosmic brick I sent you? So maybe we will get to be the I Fantastic Four. Is Tony Stark around? He's working on something else. I have another Avenger here. I'm actually the first mm. Avenger, sir. <laughs> and Captain much experience America. experience with theoretical quantum mechanics and exotic nano-derived power sources? Uh, I got an A-plus in American history. <laughs> nice. We have confirmation that more of those bricks hit the open ocean. Hill, give me a shield research sub to gather those cosmic bricks. I want some answers. Cap, you head to the Baxter building with Reed Richards and help out the best you can. I can always sell some war bonds. Um, Hill, another important thing. Lunch. Order in some shawarma. Stark knows the spot. <laughs> Good uh, play on the Avengers movie. Hidden clip if you're not sure what I'm talking about. This is pretty cool. Uh, I like the, the carrier and the way they did it within the, the Lego. Um, Gentlemen, we need you back at the Baxter building. Pronto. Lego uh, vehicles and people. As much info on those cosmic bricks as you can find. Oh, so now that we get to play around with these two. Yes, we do. Like the pop in there. Oh, save point. Oh, no, not a save point. Can I go back up? Guess I was supposed to go down here. These got the same type of stuff where you can probably shoot and do some weird stuff. Let's see what Captain America do can do. Hitting the water cooler. Can I not pick that up? I'm sure that was expensive. I like how you can chain multiple stuff. Okay, let's go back on the... Uh Back up on the deck. Ah, uh, I bet those things are actually telling me where to go. The little, the blue pieces. Yep. If they didn't make it more obvious for me. Fan clubs in town. 
Could be tricky landing in the middle of that crowd. You're right. Any more? Yep. Yeah. A couple street. more. <laughs> Glad I had a parachute. Switch back. Let's see what it all we can find out. Okay. Um. Do those. Can't do anything. Hmm. Uh, can I make anything? Looks like it. would be too small for that shouldn't be happening the security system must be on the blink hmm. let me through so we can look for a way to shut it down we are live outside the Baxter building headquarters of the beloved Manhattan hero group the fantastic four there appears to have been some sort of break-in. Witnesses at the scene heard what they thought to be a crash coming from the rooftop. Could the thing have just taken a tumble in the shower? Or is something more sinister afoot for Reed Richards and his cohorts? Stay tuned for more details as they develop. Looks like maybe a Spider-Man thing there. Well, it has to be something out here. I am just completely missing it. Seriously. Okay, so I'm sure I need to be...
should be able to glide across here. Should be able to, but didn't. Okay. I'm just horrible. <laughs> There we go. Another system on the blink? No, it's working just fine. Unfortunately, I'd like to know exactly who's using it. Oh, wow. Another cutscene, maybe. The top five floors of the Baxter building are home to the Fantastic Four. Up-to-date plans are unavailable, as Reed Richards is continuously reconfiguring the layout of his labs. <laughs> oh, he's with us, so we should be able to know which direction to go. And let's see who's up there messing with his labs. Oh, Dr. Octopus. Dr. Doom, it's Dr. Octopus. I found it. Yeah, those should be easy to take out. Them, my octobots. <laughs> I won't be stopped by such insignificant creatures. Give it up, Octavius. It won't be a stretch to defeat you. <laughs> Very funny. More of them. Octopus, get him! You won't get away with those pieces, Doctor Octopus. <laughs> so I wonder if he had to be the, the oversize uh It's convenient for him to have something for Captain America's shield in his lab. Taking my leave now. Goodbye, substantial heroes. He's heading for the roof. Let's get after him, Cap. Use B and walk across the flame, so I could you go up here. Guess I need to read some of that a bit more. Nice. Oh, my God. 
I'm thinking you have to probably uh, come back here with some of the other characters for some things. Tell me how you can make a area where there's not one. what he uh Wait, what what are you doing way back over there? Oh, that was good. Now it lights up. Okay. So is that your turn? Perfect match. How much crap do you have in your place? I think your shield is best put to use here. Is it on this platform or is it where? An elevator. Is this the quickest way to the roof? <laughs> I um, call it the Fantastivator. Uh, faster than the stairs for sure. Let's go. <laughs> there he is. Maybe All that just for the elevator. This. No time. If he gets away with those pieces now, we might never get them back. Okay. Well, this episode is taking me a little bit longer to figure out. Oh. <laughs> that happens. This episode is taking me a little bit longer to figure out than uh, the last one did. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, it said there was a checkpoint. So I'm hoping... Hoping it did uh, save. As I fail. Holding down B. There we go. Dr. Octopus is getting away! 
So you'll need to glide across that. There we go. Save and continue. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. And I will continue the next episode going back after Dr. Octopus. So thanks for watching. This has been Kinema. And I will talk to you all later.